Hello everyone, we are happy to have you with us here at this Consumer YouTube channel. You know, let me ask you this. If you were to call something the worst purchase in your life, I guess that would take a lot of emotions for you to call something that harsh. Well, today you are going to hear the story of Blue World Pools, Raymond and his worst purchase in his life. Without further ado, I present to you Raymond and his story. Enjoy the video and stay tuned for more. Yeah, okay, so you know they, they advertise this pool for I think two ninety nine or three ninety nine, whatever it is. <laughs> and um so it was a summer, I think it was in twenty thirteen or something. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you know my my boys wanted to swim and i said well let's let's get a pool so we get the salesman out here and he's you know high pressure guy and and uh he's yeah we can sell you this cheap pool but here's a good pool and this is what you really want and then it goes way up to thousands of dollars in price so of course he's got my boys yeah, come on daddy let's get the good pool let's get the good pool and they're all excited so okay we talk about the better pool then he comes up with this ironizer thing well it's a pool ironizer so you don't have to use any chemicals in it all you have to do is pour uh three bottles of bleach in it every week that's it and i'm going like wow that's great i don't have to deal with pool chemicals so that really sold me. So then he leaves. We do we do a deal for the middle sized pool. So then I get a call from the finance department a couple of days later. Well, your credit is so good, you could actually get the bigger pool for the same price, she says. So you want the big pool or the or the medium pool for the same price? Well, I'm going like, well, give me the big pool. I'm not you're gonna take the bigger one for the same price. So it took, I guess, at least a month before, you know, I kept calling. Are they coming? They coming? They supposed to come install it. Are they coming? Are they coming? They finally get here. I guess it was in August, I think. The summer was almost over by the time I got the pool. And my, my youngest son was going back to school. So we finally get the pool. And uh, they they made a mess putting it in. They broke my sidewalk the, they got their little uh, tractor stuck in the mud I had to go get some bricks and pile it under there and we had to get on the, the bucket to get it out of the mud so I mean it was just a total mess they brought the sand in a, a trailer that wasn't a solid trailer it had it was planks so the sand just poured out the whole time he came here so we lost a ton of sand and to top it all off, you need to put a lot of chemicals in this pool. There's no such thing as just using the Clorox once a week. You got to get the alkaline right, the pH right, the um, the uh, calcium right. I mean, it, there's a whole list of chemicals that we got to put in there. And now we got to use a stabilizer. And this is all in addition to the, to the bleach once a week which is only to, to get the copper right. The ionizer gets the copper right according to this. So it was all lies from start to finish. And then I paid on the thing for years. And so I call him up. I said, man, what's the payoff on this thing? Oh, it's uh, $11,000. I went, what? I've been paying on this thing for years. Well, it's 15.9% simple interest you can figure yourself i said i'm gonna figure it myself i'm getting out of this so i went and made a personal loan for i don't know what what was it less a whole lot less than that and paid them off so i mean i'm still paying on the personal loan the pool's still up it got a hole in it i called them up i said yeah it it has a hole in the liner i'd like to uh, replace it okay yeah you you're responsible for 80 percent of the cost at eighty percent, what happened to this lifetime guarantee? Well, it goes down as as the years pass. Never mind, I patched it myself. 
Now, let me ask you this, Raymond. When you were talking to them, you know, of course, you tried to explain your side of the story and everything. How did customer service react? Like, what did they say to you? How did they, what did they try to do if they tried to do anything? They didn't, they didn't try to help at all. I mean, uh, you know, I don't even know if they care after they sell the pool. You know, I didn't even realize there's an attachment on your, on your property. So if you don't pay the, 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 uh, the note on the pool, they can actually uh, put a lien against your property. It's, in, it's amazing. There's actually a lien. When I paid the pool off, I had to get a paper from the pool company and bring it to the courthouse and take the lien off of my property. And the, wow. the other thing is, and I want to mention before I forget it, they're so overpriced on everything. So they give you this voucher. I think it was $75 so you can put it toward anything you want to buy. So I bought a, a, a timer that, you know, so the pump will kick on and off automatically. And the timer was like 80 something dollars. And I, I went, man, I'd like to get the timer, but I got a $75 voucher. And the guy goes, oh, yeah, I'll do that for $75. I'll just take it. I said, OK. And then my wife looks. The timer cost like fourteen dollars or something at Walmart, I think, and I paid seventy five for it. If we look at everything these people have done so far, what makes you mad the most? Is it their cheating? Is it lying? Is it the prices? Is it the best product? What is it? If you were to pinpoint one thing, what would that be? I guess it would be all the dishonesty. Because it, if they would have been up front in the first place, they wouldn't have got my, my business. And they know that. And that's why they have to be dishonest. So everything is a lie from the salesman to the finance department to the installer. Well, the installer was probably the most truthful one. <laughs> but, you know, they kept saying, oh, yeah, he's coming out uh, next week. He's coming out tomorrow. He's, but they kept putting that off because. And they knew he wasn't coming out, but they just kept, you know, trying to quiet me down. But um, it's all the dishonesty. And, and uh, you know, I guess if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be so angry. But I told I tell my wife almost every day that this is the worst thing I've ever bought in my life. And I'm still paying for it. Raymond, uh, could you tell me, please, uh, what was the main reason that you decided to go to an online platform and write a review? What motivated you in the first place? Say, I've been you? infuriated about this pool since the day uh, I got it. And since I learned that uh, you don't just have to put Clorox bleach in the pool once a week and then the chemicals are always going to be perfect. So I've just, uh, the, again, the lies, the exorbitant prices, the ridiculous. Uh, uh, interest, the fees, the lien against your property. It's on and on and on. And I, I'm just so angry. And I, I went online to see if anybody else is angry. And oh my goodness, there's tons of people angry. Blue World Pools is such a ripoff. I can't believe it. I, I don't know how. I, I think there was a, a lawsuit in another state that was that they settled. And I just can't believe that, that the government allows uh, crooked businesses to do business like this, to, to rip off people like this. And, I, you know, I've always felt so embarrassed uh, at doing such a terrible deal. And then I read, uh, uh, an, a, a, uh, read a, uh, a post from a uh, financial manager who did the same deal. He bought the same pool. And he said, so don't feel like you're stupid because I did it too. <laughs> so I, I was just so angry. I've been so angry ever since I bought it.